Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today, we're gonna try to put a MacBook inside of a Wii so that we have a fully functioning computer built inside of the Wii. So I, ha I got this idea a while ago, and I thought that I would just put like a single board computer in there, but then I got a couple of older MacBook motherboards and thought, why not do that? So, that's what we're going to try to do today. So the two boards we have are a 2010 MacBook motherboard and a 2006 or 7 MacBook motherboard. Um, this one we have the fan and heat sink for as well as the SATA connector. Um, so this one is fully functional. However, this one, I only have the heat sink for it. Nothing else will work, and I don't have any extra DDR3 RAM for this one, so we're not going to be able to use this for the build, so we're going to have to use the older one, which is fine. It means we're going to have 4 gigs of RAM when I get the 4 gigs of RAM out, and a SATA drive instead of booting off of a USB. So now we just need to take apart the Wii and see if we can actually fit it in. Okay, so I have the outer case off, and every, all the screws and everything right here, faceplate right here. Now we need to take off all of this. This is really compact, I am very impressed. So, now we need to take the rest of it apart. Okay, so I have the entire Wii taken apart. I have everything, I have the fan, this, the fan shroud, all this stuff. I got screws, the faceplate, side case, and um, we got the actual Wii motherboard right here, and the DVD drive and stuff. Alright, so everything's cleaned up now. This is one half of the case, this is the other half. I have the rest of the parts right here, this is the faceplate of the Wii. Everything's still a bit dusty, so... Then right here we've got some of the other miscellaneous parts, like the fan. I don't even know if I need those to put it back together. Hopefully not, but I'm not sure. So, right now I'm going to see if this board can fit into the Wii. So when it's closed, it's like... this or something like that obviously missing faceplate it looks pretty funny but yeah it looks like a Wii and at the back yay that came out I didn't need that I didn't want to break the board so thank you Wii you took out this piece of metal so obviously like this I'd have to have a dremel out this back plate to get all the ports to fit but then I'm pretty sure it'll be good. So, we already got some screw holes. Might be able to mount it with them. So, let's see, where's the back? This way is the back. Now, that way is the back. So, I know that it's small enough to fit. It's just right. So, this power cable, though, that might be a bit of an issue. RAM should work. Heat sink will definitely fit. As well as the fan. Don't know about the hard drive though. That might be challenging. But I could always mount it on this side. I could put the board on this side. But I don't know. I'm going to mess around with that and see if I can get it in. And then I'll get back. Alright, so I was trying to get everything to fit, but it's bugging me that everything's so dusty. So I need to go clean everything off, and I'll be right back when I have everything fitted together in what I think will work. Alright, so everything's cleaned up, and I have the motherboard just lying right in here. And it fits, so that's pretty good. Let me just turn it around. Right here, I found a good place for the... A MagSafe charger. That that would be pretty cool if I could have that there. And then dremeling out this area will be really easy. That'll be really small. 
And there's definitely room for a hard drive. I can just Velcro it up to this top area. And, yeah, now I just need to um, figure out how I'm actually going to mount this. And then figure out the power button situation. I really want to use the keyboard from this. Just hook up the button to the original Wii power button. I think that would be really cool. That would be ideal. But other than that, I'm going to keep on working on this and bring back some updates. So before I continue fitting everything, I decided I should probably reapply the thermal paste onto the CPU and GPU, put the heatsink and fan back on, but then I remembered, I don't have the screws. So I just dug through my pile of screws from the Wii and found a couple Phillips heads that should do just fine for what we need them to do. So. That's what we're going to work on right now. Alright, so I put the fan back on and attached the SATA connector, but now I need to grab a hard drive as well as a 2 gig stick of RAM, which I currently have, in a MacBook. So I need to take those out and then put in my other 2 gigabyte stick of RAM, which I have somewhere among my many piles of RAM. So yeah, let's do that. Well, while trying to take the battery out to get the, to the RAM and everything, I accidentally popped off the top cover, which is a bit of a problem, I think. So, yeah. Well, I got the battery out by breaking it, so now I need to put this back together. This was a bit more than I expected I needed to do. So that sucks. But anyway, actually kind of broke it a bit. Like actually cracked some plastic. But it should go back together like I don't know. I'll put it back together later. But I also realized that I am using my second gig, my other 2 gig stick, in my IBM X60. So I'm gonna have to settle with 3 gigs of RAM for the Wii. But that's fine, I'll buy some more, maybe upgrade it to 8 or 6. I don't remember how much RAM these MacBooks can take. But, yeah, now I need to take the hard drive and RAM out of this one. And I am not going to put that battery back in here. Because I do not want to deal with that again. That's the first time I ever actually broke it. But I've always had trouble taking that battery out of it. So, pop, pop, pop. We got a... One gig stick, and I swear, if this is a two, if this is a one gig stick, I'm gonna throw it at a wall. This is a one gig stick of RAM. I went through all of that trouble to take out this battery to try to get a, a stick of RAM that I knew I had, and thought I had in this, to get two other 1 gig sticks, when I already have two 1 gig sticks here. 
Not to mention that I forgot that this ribbon was broken off of this this hard drive, so I need to use pliers and a spudger every single time. Take it out. I'm just gonna go have to look for some more RAM somewhere. I don't want to take it out of my X60. I'm gonna have to go find some more RAM. Well, here it is. The box of a laptop screen and a, a Mac hard drive that I could have used. My older ThinkPads hard drive, some RAID cards, MS-DOS, some RAM, um, one gig, 512 meg, one gig, one gig, one gig, 512 meg. Well, after a couple minutes of quick hard thinking, I decided that an IBM X60 with 3 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM without an SSD in it isn't as cool as a fully functional computer inside of a Wii. So that's why I'm gonna take my 2 gig stick out of this and put it in here. And I'm gonna do a lot more, have a lot more done by the next time I film and show you guys something. So here we are, I have it uh, taped up. This is where I'm gonna cut, where the tape is not. And I'm gonna get out my Dremel, start cutting. All right, so I Dremeled everything out of the Wii and yeah, the ports all fit well. And I was figuring out how to mount the board when I decided to test it. So I put the fan in and the hard drive and all the RAM, but I have all that out now because I fried the board and I don't mean it just like stopped working like it blew up I, I, I turned it on with the power pins right over here the power pins right there I turned it on with that and the fan wasn't spinning and I felt right here it was really hot mostly up here where the processor is it was really hot here and then, if you can see right here, if I can get it to focus, I have pictures of it, so I'll... The, bo the board fried, this, this camera's not focusing well. But the board, it fried. You can see it. You can see it a little bit right there. It's black there. It popped. And there was a big blue spark. And there was one there, and there were a couple up here. So, yeah, this board's dead now. So, I had another idea. If you can't put a MacBook in a Wii, you can just put a Raspberry Pi in a Wii. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just taping it in. This is temporary. I'm not gonna give up on this project. My goal is to get a working Windows computer inside of a Wii. But right now I guess I'll have to settle for a Raspberry Pi. I'm gonna put it all together, show you guys what it's like. So I'm not gonna give up on putting a computer, a fully functional Windows computer in here. But for now, it's just going to be a Raspberry Pi. So, yes. Press F to pay respects for the MacBook board.